Good afternoon, good afternoon. I am Prophetess Apostle Sharita Berry, and I want to welcome y'all on this afternoon, this evening, to those y'all around the world and around the country, far and wide. Glory to God in the highest, in the name of Jesus. Empowering the hearts of God with Prophetess Sharita Berry. Join us as we go forth, coming the nation with the word of God. Glory to God. I'm just sitting here at the computer, and all I heard in my spirit is a first I heard cattle, then I heard camels, but I heard on a thousand hills. And I said, Okay, God, let me go and search this up. So the Lord took me to the book of Psalms on this evening. Glory to God. Psalms, the 50th chapter. And I want to read it into y'all's hearing on today. And Psalms, the 50th chapter, talks about God, the judge of the righteous and the wicked. But before I move on, we're just going to play a little praise and worship song. Not going to play the entire song, just a little bit. Glory to God. God, I thank you for bringing us here today. I do not take this day like this. I come before you, humble myself with a heart of repentance, bondage of feet, God. Ask him for forgiveness. I've done anything knowing unknowing. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every curse, hex, vex, and spell, every spiritual wickedness in high places, demonic activity, prince of Persia, principalities, rulers of darkness, in the name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy has sent forth in the atmosphere to come against the people of God on today, we cancel it right now. Those wickedness, those deceit and deceptions those demonic arrows demonic plots and plans coming from the north south east and west the northwest and southeast we cancel this assignment right now and we send it back to the sender in the name of jesus we dismantle every demonic altar in the name of jesus every demonic present in the name of jesus and we claim and reclaim and proclaim and declare and decree victory in the name of jesus i thank you lord god for the angels that you've assigned to our life to war on our behalf to fight on our behalf to cover us to lord god to to serve and to protect us in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for the fire from heaven to, that is raining down upon the atmosphere on today. Lighting up, cleaning up, saturating the atmosphere of anything that is ungodly, unholy, that is abomination in your eyesight, ear gates, and nostrils. As I seal this prayer with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we say, Amen. Glory to God. Songs, the 50th chapter, talks about God, the judge of the righteous and the wicked. And I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Bible. If anyone that has a prayer request, you or someone you may know that needs prayer, you can visit the website, www 
dot prophetess sharita bray ministries dot webs webs dot com that's www dot prophetess sharita bray ministries dot webs webs dot com songs the 50th chapter verses 1 to 23 from the amplified bible the mighty one god the lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to the, its setting from the east to west out of zion the perfection of beauty god has shown forth May our God come and not keep silent. Fire devours before him, and around him a mighty tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth to judge his people. Gather my godly ones to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens declared his righteous, for God himself is judge, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not reprove you for your sacrifices. Your burnt offerings are continued before me. I will accept no young boar from your house, nor male goat from your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every barret of the mountains, and everything that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would tell you, for the world and all its contains are mine. Shall I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of male goats? Offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will rescue you and you shall honor and glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, what right have you to recite my statutes or to take my covenant on your lips? For you hate instruction and discipline and cast my words behind you, discarding them. When you see a thief, you are pleased with him and condone his behavior and you associate with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done and I kept silent. You thought that I was just like you. Now I will reprimand and denounce you and state the case in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God or do or I will tear you in pieces and there will be no one to rescue you. He who offers a sacrifice of praises and thanksgiving honors me and to him who orders his way rightly, who follows the way that I show him, I shall show the salvation of God. I just got finished reading songs, the 50th chapter verses one to 23. And that particular verse well, that particular chapter in the book of Songs, the 50th chapter, talks about God, the judge of the righteous, and the wicked. I thank God for the reading of his word on tonight. May you all have a blessed and awesome day. Don't forget, if you or someone you know has a prayer and staying in need of prayer, or you may need a Bible, you can eat, you can go to the website, www.prophetessharitabrayministries.webs.com, or you can email your prayer request to Ministries at outlook.com. That's sharitabrayministries at outlook.com. Going to close out with this prayer, and I'll close out song. God, I thank you for the reading of the word on today. God, may something that was spoken and read on today, God, God, that they, we will take and apply to our life each and every day. God, I just thank you and I praise you, Lord God. I thank you as I pray for those that are here on today, Lord God, them and their families in the name of Jesus. We lift up those on the Capitol Hill, God. We lift up those men and women that are running for the 2020 presidential election and their families. We lift up those, Lord God, armed forces, God, men and women that are serving our country, that are located in states in other countries and other nations and other continents and even here in america god in the name of jesus god we pray lord god in the name of jesus and we thank you god as we worship you in spirit and truth and we just thank you god for the things that you have done lord god for our, for us god we thank you for favor 
Lord God. But most importantly, God, we thank you because you didn't done it just to be doing it, but you did it, God, so that you can get the glory in our life. And that, Lord God, we say thank you on this evening. In Jesus' name, I say amen. Please bless you and your family.